Hello there everybody, it's James here from It's Much More and in this video we're taking you through our top five picks on the Namco Museum Collection 1 on the EverK. Let's check it out. Number 5 So, making it to number five on the list, we have Quad Challenge. So, yeah, as you can gather, it's a racing game, and I like racing games. And this has a couple of them on there, so do they make those on the top five? Do those racing games make it there? But this one does, and yeah, it's pretty fun. And it would be better on multiplayer, but uh, you do get to go against the computer. So, player one on the top screen versus a computer at the bottom screen. So, yeah. Pretty fun and great visuals as well. It looks beautiful and it's fun to play as well. And one of the things that makes it uh, good for racing games is you've got to have good handling. So um, this one has that, handles really well and looks really well and plays really well. So that's why it made it to number five on our top five list. Once again, another cartridge that has so many great games on there and some of them didn't make it to the list. It's just a real shame, you know, if I'd have done a top 10, it would have been different. But uh, this has made it on there because it's the first time I've really played it before and seen it before. And also just a fun experience to play on the handheld and also when you connect it to a TV by the HDMI mini cable. So yeah, Quad Challenge makes it to number 5 on the list. Would you put this game on the list if you did a top 5? Would it make it? Because there's so many great games in this Namco Collection 1. Let us know in the comments field below. Number four. Up next, we have Galaxian making it into number four on the list. Wow, now this game is on there purely because, another reason, and it's racing related. I only remember seeing this game, remember playing this game, when I saw and played Ridge Racer. So, uh, yeah, so it does have a racing relevance to it. But yeah, great game in itself. I mean, there's other games on here. It's kind of like a Space Invaders clone that uh, this is, but uh, it's fun, it's colourful, it's loud, it looks good, it plays good, that's what you need in the game, and that's why it makes it to number four on the list. Oh. Try and get that thing at the back, don't know what that is, has appeared in many games over the years, I think that also appears in a game which could be mentioned in a top five I don't know because there's so many to choose from on this collection it was very very difficult for me to make uh, a top five list for this cartridge and also for the Atari cartridge as well so if you've not watched that video check out the top five on that one more life left let's see if we can get rid of all these enemies oh where are you going? Oh! Number 3 Next up we have another classic, it's Dig Dug, making its way into number 3 on the top 5 list. This is a very good game, and uh, just fun to play. So a little spoiler for you, there is a Dig Dug 2, so uh, whether that appears on the top 5 list that we do, we'll have to wait and see. Very colourful, fun to play. Pretty much uh, an arcade console port, per perfect, but it plays really well on the uh, Evercade itself. But yeah, I know it's not the arcade version, they're not out until 2021 on the Evercade, but this is a pretty cool port. 
I just like how when you move, that's when the music starts. You stop. No music. So all you got to do is just pump up these enemies and then work your way on. And just stop those guys at the top from having the flowers, I think. They fly around, there's a dragon. <laughs> Come back here. As you move forward into the level, the levels get more difficult, the rounds, and there should be different enemies and placements of those enemies as well. You see there, there's more flowers as well at the top. Out of way. Oh! I've got a little model of Dig Dug as well, and a little arcade machine of that as well. Oh! Watch out, dragon! You're not going nowhere. Oosh! Number two. Just missing out the top spot. We have battle cars, and yes, it's another racer. So yeah, the, uh, look at this. It looks like, um, like a Mario Kart meets F-Zero meets Street Racer meets Death Race meets RC Pro-Am meets, meets Rock and Roll Racing. So all those games in one, really. So look at the background there, looking, looking great. The foreground and also how fast this game looks and plays as well. So here we are, Battle Cars, making it to number two on the list of my top five Evercade games on the Namco Collection number one. So you get to choose the car that you want. So I'm going to select this nice red car. There's always a red car. And then because you can pick a different color of it, so that's the type of car, but I'm picking with red because I said I was going to pick red. Here we go, so that's the track. Oosh, good start there. So yeah, so if you like racing games, you like F-Zero meets you know, rock and roll racing, then you will enjoy this. Fun game, sometimes there is some issues with sound uh, when you connect it via HDMI mini, but I don't think that is apparent on when you're just using it as handheld mode. Oosh, have that. So do you agree with the list so far? We've done four games of the top five and with, like I said before, there's so many great games on this collection and, and also pretty much all of the collections. There is loads of great games on there. Would you put this at number two or would it not even make it to the list? Let me know in the comments field below and uh, it'd be great to hear what your top five games are for this collection and also all the other ones that I've done as well. Here we go, it's the next level. So as you saw there, just a moment ago, I didn't really want to talk over it, just so, just in case I was going to cut it out, but uh, I didn't. Um, you can have a shop, so you can do some upgrades. So I always like to do handling, make the handling better, because that's, that's one of the things that is important for racing games for me. And kind of like super off-road as well, where you get to do suspension handling engine, if you remember that game. But uh, yeah, and then you saw a rival as well, so pretty much like Super Monaco Grand Prix. I don't know if you guys have played that on the Sega Mega Drive or in the arcades, where you get to choose a rival. But yeah, this is fun. One lap left. Look how big the tracks are as well. Pretty cool. I like how it shows you behind where the rival is. That blue bit on behind the car. That's where he is it's currently placed. Oosh. Get out of there. Number one. And there you go. Number one is Pac-Man. It's got to be, really, hasn't it? The poster boy for Namco. Uh, yeah, pretty cool game. Even though I've got this and played this on many other different versions and ports and everything over the years, on your mobile phone, whatever, this is a great game. There is no input lag at all in this game. Like other different versions out there in emulations, there is input lag, which makes it very annoying to play Pac-Man. But this doesn't suffer from it at all on the arcade. Yes, I know many people would want it to be the arcade version, but look. They're not doing arcade games yet. That's uh, still to come, if that hasn't done already, when posting this video. Very simplistic game. All you got to do is collect the little pellets, and then collect the bigger pellets to get rid of the ghosts. And then you move on to the next level. You can also collect the different fruits or items that appear in the middle. 
you should all know this by now. It's Pac-Man. Uh, so this cartridge has so many great games in there. I mean, I didn't include games like Mappy as well. That's a great game. That's a fun game to go to. There's also a Mappy Kids on there, which didn't come out anywhere else other than Japan. So it's good to see games like that on there. Some rare ones, some odd finds. But yeah. So do you agree with the top five lists I've done for the Namco Collection 1? Would you have put ga different games on there? Would you have got rid of the racing games that have been on there and just had it the original games? So yeah, let me know in the comments field below, and please like, comment, subscribe. As always, uh, we do our top 5 videos every Tuesday, and so uh, this current series is featuring every cartridge on the Evercade. So if you've not checked out those, go and check out the playlist. That'll be at the end of this video, I'll just search uh, videos, you should be able to find it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be moving on to other consoles and platforms as well, doing top 5s in the future, but we're going to stick with the Evercade, as there's 10 cartridges out at the moment. We've already pre-ordered the next two cartridges that are due to come out, which is the Oliver Twins and the Tanglewood Collection, which is uh, two in the games Tanglewood and a different game, which I've for the life of me forgotten the name of the game. And then later on there'll be the two Atari Lynx collections coming out as well. So when they come out and when they arrive, we will make top fives for those as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. Take care of yourself. All the best. Bye bye.